vlogs tend to not really have much. Um, I don't know. Like I always have a story that I'm telling in my mind in my life, right. but it's a continuous story. So this will all just be moments of the story, if that makes sense. So Literally same. you can yeah. 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 So this is my friend Leslie, who I met back in June of 2024. I love her a whole lot. She also goes by God's favorite human, and the more I talk with her, the more I realize why it's so true. Shout out Admire and Jeremiah. They're the two people in my vlogs that I'm just like, this is for you guys. Yeah. They always comment, they always watch. It's like, doesn't matter who sees it, just those who see it. Now, scripture does teach us that there's no partiality with God and that anyone who fears him and does what is right is acceptable to him. So as much as she is God's favorite human, please also understand God doesn't actually have favorites. He loves us all unconditionally. There is, however, so much power in declaring such a statement over yourself, believing it and living your life with a mindset that God himself looks at you and calls you his favorite. It's empowering and beautiful. Leslie is a new friend and quickly became a dear one because of how similar our lives and approaches to life are. We both spent a significant amount of our adult years getting on planes and leaving what we know to explore and experience the unknown. We figured that our comfort zone involves us being outside our comfort zones, so when we're in a zone of comfort, it's uncomfortable. Should we pray? Thank you, Thank you for this time. I feel like every time there's burger and a chip, I have to be like, okay, I know it's not great yet, but just bless it out quick. We both have this innate desire to travel and are constantly traveling to countries foreign to us for extended periods of time and I don't often meet people that can relate so I found talking with Leslie often feels like I'm talking with another version of myself. It's refreshing. I've been learning the need for these types of relationships this year. Friends that really get where you're at or where you're coming from and I thank God I got to meet Leslie when I did. She's a special girl. We spoke for hours that day, and it was the type of conversation that would leave your soul feeling hugged and held. In Proverbs 18 verse 24, scripture teaches us that there is a friend that sticks closer than a brother. And this whole year of 2024, I've been able to live that verse. Not just with my friend Leslie, but with each friendship I've been blessed with and been able to develop as this year has gone on. Did you see the change name on my Instagram? No. I did this, I was like, I must do this. It's called, um... Someone already kind of stole the main one I wanted. God's favorite human. <laughs> there you go. Yeah, it makes sense. It literally makes I, sense. I feel like, not, again, not manifestation, but it's like, no, but yeah. The fact that I'm so willing to agree with God on it, I am favorite. <laughs> Let's do a taste test. How's it tasting? Is it banging? It's a good mix. It's yeah. Good. This year, I've felt more loved than ever before in my life. And that's not to say that it was never there. I've been blessed to live in a very loving community since childhood, but it is to say that I never allowed myself to feel or receive the love until this year. And it took a while, but now everywhere I look, all I see is love and all I experience is love. I truly am beloved. Now, I haven't seen the film Love Actually, but at some point in the movie, Hugh Grant says this really famous line, and I'd say that days like this with Leslie and moments with my family and my friends as this year has gone on have really proved it to be true. And the line goes like this. If you look for it, I've got a sneaky feeling you'll find that love actually is all around. all around. Safe to say this year, I've actually been looking for it. Subscribe, subscribe, subscribe.